Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I have this background. The colors are showing a little bit better on the camera today, but I started this last night and believe you me, there are several coats of paint in this. It would probably be able to stand on its own as a book. So there's layers and layers because I wasn't sure about the direction of where this was going. By the way, this is my large, super large moleskin journal. It's bigger than my forearm. I've got this giant flower here and here is testing some stuff with paint spray paint and some stenciling. I have a quote that I found on Pinterest. It says, if it costs you your piece, it is too expensive. I had the intention of showing you from the get-go, but it was just, it was a mess, believe me. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to make a face right here. I'm not sure how that's going to play with that super large flower, but I have some other ones here, and I can always like do something with the hair to the side. I'll see. Anyways, that's my plan. So what I'm doing as a reference here is I have my sketchbook here. I have been practicing some different moods, I guess, and this is one that I'm going to be using. She's kind of worried, or maybe I should use the questioning one, but um, this is what it looks to me. So maybe this one, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to use my own reference material <laughs> as reference. And so let's go. I'm not sure if having the face like right in the center of that fold will play well. Like I said, it's an experience. We'll see how that goes. All right, so then I'm dividing that in half. And then again in half. So this is going to be the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And I've got that center fold, so that's kind of like my middle. Uh, let me just zoom in a tiny bit. You're not going to be able to see a lot while I sketch, but um, anyways, stick with me. <laughs> so I'm going to make two marks here. This is the width of the eye, so I'm leaving the same distance, kind of, sort of. And let's see... Uh, these are graphic tones. They're water soluble pencils. Um, first time I'm using them, so. I'll adjust the eyes as I go. But I just want to make at least a placement, you know? I'm going to do a little. Little circle here for the middle of the nose and the nostrils, and let's just do this. I'm not sure if I should do this right at the beginning, but um, okay, she's gonna have to arch her eyebrows because she's like questioning slash not sure, and her mouth is a tiny bit too low. I find that. Yeah, the eyes are big, the mouth, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that face is not long enough, I'll adjust that. Uh, uh, just about here, this is going to be a little tough to paint, I realize that. And she has a very, a rather large face. <laughs> um, I'm using this kneaded eraser. Because I don't, I hate dealing with the little bits and pieces of erasers, you know. Let's make her chin down here make her face a little bit slimmer. So I got rid of one flower. I'm gonna run into a problem here because I'm gonna have an even count of flowers. But uh, it's all right. The eyeballs, I'm just gonna place them for now. Actually, if she's worried or questioning, she's not going to have too much of an arch around the eyes. A 
Okay, so I have a general idea. of where everything should be. Okay, so let me paint around some of these features so that you can see it better. I'm gonna use titanium buff for now. She, she's looking very ghostly, let's <laughs> just say right now. Yeah, I find she's rather large on this side, so I'm gonna cut her face a little bit. Performing some plastic surgery. <laughs> I like the graph the graphy tones because they're water soluble, so if you make a boo-boo, you can just erase it. But they're not, well, this one is a 2B, I believe. Yeah, it's a 2B, so it's not that dark. I have four of them. It came in a set. I've had them for, oh, I'd say about a year and a half, I guess. And I'm using them for the first time. Again, that's all going into my goal to use my stash this year. You know what? I'm also going to cover up the eyes. All right, that's a start. While this is drying, I realized I forgot to do her ears. <laughs> So the ears usually start at the base of the nose. And I never know how big to do them, so. Yeah. That's way too big. Okay, so let's paint that before I forget. I'm gonna reshape um, the eyes. Her eyes are quite um, large. <laughs> but maybe it's because I don't have the hair going on here, I'm not sure. But um, anyways, I'll just work on the eyes for now. Again, I'm looking at my reference Material, this wasn't really well defined. I kind of like put all these together very quickly uh, Just to give me an idea, but I know that when you're worried or when you're questioning what you're doing you kind of have you know a um, Like a frown I guess you can call it Yeah, that's a frown <laughs> um, So yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to make a frown. How's that? Um, I it's always hard to do the eyes the same the same size. Um, also, I guess when you're frowning, you don't have much of a like that pleat there that we have between the eye and the eyebrow. I don't know what that's called. I guess it's kind of like almost flat when you're worried, I'm guessing. Again, I'm doing this without reference material and I also did this without reference material. So maybe I should have done my reference with a reference <laughs> so I can do this more freely. But you know, I like to wing it. It's okay, it's okay. I'll end up learning. I'll end up taking reference material one day um, to uh, learn more, you know, but uh, right now I'm just, I don't know, I'm just having fun with this. Um, also her mouth, I kind of want it a little bit open. I am not going to do much for the upper lip. I'm just going to do like a little, you know, a little accent here. I don't think that I'm going to have the light coming from the side or blah, blah, blah. I think it's going to be like full on. Um, so, you know, not one side is going to be darker than the other, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think maybe her nose might be too large, but that, again, I can always correct. My um, baby wipe is almost dry, which is kind of perfect to 
erase. I like that. I'm going to make the pupils. So that was the 2B though. I kind of like did the whole thing with a 2B. Let's graduate to a 4B. I think I need to sharpen this first. Okay, let's see if it's going to... Yeah, it does write darker. That's kind of fun. I think I'm going to have fun with that face. I was so worried about this when I was painting the background. It was just a mess. It was just like layer upon layer of bad happening. <laughs> and um, yeah. And I always struggle with the left side, I guess, because I'm right-handed, I guess. I hope it does kind of make sense, right? Uh, let's make more of an angular face here, maybe a sharp point. I hate the fact that I have the thing in the middle, but hey, we have to deal with that. So I want to make that darker, of course, on the side of the face, around here, uh, underneath the nose. Let's see. Let's see how that's. Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. Ah. See. Hold on. See how it's more a lot more subtle than using the what's the word I'm looking for? This one, this guy, the aquarellable, the stabilo pencil. Yes. I think I'm frazzled by the fact that this was so difficult to uh, come up with. That page was giving me. Um, Grief, <laughs> kind of. Okay, so I'm going to use the pencil on the side like this. Let's see. Oops. I'm not sure how the eyes are going to play with um, with that. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to add a color for sure. in the eyes. That's a given. Uh, I don't want to add too much shading though on the chin. It's very ghostly. <laughs> very ghostly. It's okay, we're gonna fix that. Yeah, maybe she needs to frown a little bit more here. She needs that. Too much? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I find this eye a little bit bigger. Maybe I need to extend. I think I'm going through the paper right now. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. You know what? I don't want this dark over here. Oops. I'm removing the paint. No! I'm going to have to make more corrections with the paint for sure. I didn't want her eyes or the uh, the iris of her eyes to touch the bottom. Here, I think that's better. Uh, so let's see here. Let's start shaping a little bit the eyes.
this ear doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that ear. There, that makes more sense. Go. Oh, this is still wet. <laughs> That iris has to be a little bit bigger. She definitely needs to frown if she's questioning or if she's disturbed or anxious about something. Whoa. <laughs> definitely is frowning now. <laughs> this needs to be a little bit more gradual. That split in the middle really bothers me a lot, but at this point, there's not much I can do about it. So I'm gonna quit complaining. What switch do I need B for her brow? And I think her frown needs to go down on this side. She's got glowing orange eyes. <laughs> Scary. Ooh. <laughs> I keep adjusting the eyes with the paint here. Let me just add more paint here. <clears throat> Yeah, because the graphite, like when I was um, working the graphite in or the graphite tone here, it removed some of the paint. I'm not sure. I was probably rubbing too hard. And like I said, there's so many layers of paints under there that I'm not surprised that it starts 
lifting, you know. I don't want her to be smiling. But she looks like she is. A little bit better. She looks a bit masculine, I find. there. Okay. I think uh, I'm spending a lot of time on the eyebrows just because I think it kind of determines uh, the mood. It helps a lot because when we're anxious we're frowning from the top here and our, um, our mouth is usually like flat and crisp like pinched lips I guess. I could even have done the bottom lip not as thick. I'm having fun though. It's it's fun to play with these because you can, you know, if you mess up, you can erase. And you can also use this to shade. So it's quite multifunctional. I know what to use. Q-tip. I need to add some color into her eyes. Actually, let's do the pupil with the 8B. Something's going on underneath uh, here, this area. <laughs> Not sure what it is. <laughs> what color should I make her eyes? Uh, they little turquoise? <laughs> Why not? have to I want to kind of lighten up a little bit this green spending way too much time on this face as I originally intended but you know what I'm just learning at the same time and hopefully you're learning as well something <laughs> um, have 
to darken everything with the stabilo. At least I've got the good, a good foundation. See, she looks more alive when I use the stabilo for sure. And that's normal. It's darker. Um, Some elements here are difficult to introduce because I went kind of like weird here. But uh, I'm trying to shape her eyes. <laughs> I'm just making a mess. Making a mess. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually, you know what? Hold on for a sec. Ooh. I'm gonna try and do this properly. I think I'm gonna try and bring a little bit more black to the upper lip, but not define it completely. And then shade underneath here, but not on the lip. Oops. I sat down so I have a different perspective, but my legs were killing me, so I decided to sit down. Uh, that's a tiny bit better. The eyes are really bothering me again. I find the eyes a tad too dark, so I'm going to push that a little bit. I added some white to the turquoise and I think that's going to be better. I'm gonna have to rework the pupils and I think I'm gonna add a tad of green. There, that's what I wanted. Camera's not picking that up real well, but uh, anyways, I've also added a little bit of light and buff so that I can correct the eye. Let's try and I mean, I could work on the eyes till the cows come home, but it would never be uh, straight. <laughs>
I take my 2B and reshade here just because I'm I played a bit here. Oops. to use my left hand because of that that uh, ridge in the middle kind of makes it uncomfortable <laughs> a hard time with this crease in the middle but anyways it's you know it is what it is I'm making do with what I have um, all in all though it's not bad oh, it needs to be a little bit darker here I'm actually uh, liking a lot these um, graphy tones pencils they're fun to play with they really are the ears I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them they might be hidden by some of the hair so I'm not gonna worry about that for now so I want to add some of these organic circles because I really like those and these are made from this stencil uh, this is one of Patty's stencil. This is a PTP 126 create mask and I like it because it has a whole bunch of different patterns and it's got that nice word create. I'm not going to use that word, but I will definitely use the circles. And I also like this dotted line. I want to incorporate that in there, but I'm not sure yet. So what I did to create these is that I went in with some Payne's Gray. And I think I have also mixed in a little bit of the liquid acrylic glazing liquid, the gloss one. And I just painted um, around here. Here, I'm going to redo that. Oops. Just want to add a bit more down here. I'm going to take the stencil and a baby wipe and just position that over top here. Whoops. I'm going to remove some of that. I like these quigglies. I'm going to add those. Oh, that is awfully nice. Whoops, Ben, you're not seeing this. <laughs> Typical. But I really like the effect a lot. And I even, I can even take this now because it has a bit of paint. You can see a little bit of that ghosting effect. Her neck disappeared. <laughs> I just realized that. Whoops. All right, let's just remove all that. <laughs> now that I've showed you how to do it, I'm going to take my graphic tone and just trace the neck. I'm going to add a bit of Tighten buff in there. I mean, I might work on her a little bit more, but for now, she's fine like this. I think I'm gonna finish this though. I don't know what kind of hair I want. 
feel something really wet here. Mm. I don't want to put the emphasis on her hair though. Like Right now I'm just, um, I'm kind of like tracing, I'm not really, this is not how I'm going to fill in the hair. Um, I just want to have, I just want to get the shape of it. I kind of want to remove all this like hold on let's put a sheet of paper there wouldn't she look much better that way I think so <sighs> do I do it <laughs> all right let's do it Oh, I have so 
some of my stamps. Let's try something just for kicks and giggles. I mean, I carved those stamps and I never used them, so. Let's do it now. I want to see first if it's going to work. Don't do much. Oh, but I like the fact I have just one little small trail of the white there. Um, I like I like how it walks into the hair. So and do this. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Ooh, I'm liking that. Alright, so we're the morning now, as you can tell by my voice. Um, I like her better today. Uh... Alright, I've decided that I don't have to have three of these. I like these. I like the two. Um, which means though that I have to introduce some kind of white-ish element somewhere else. Okay, so I've decided to do those dots, but instead of removing the paint, I'm going to use white. So it's going to be white on a very light background, which should give me a nice ghosty effect. tip multi-ball pen the quilt around her hair okay she's done and the camera recognizes the face because there's a big square around her which is of course I find a lot of things that I could rework but it's always the case when I do faces um, and this as I've mentioned or not I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna keep in the edit obviously because um, this was kind of like filmed very erratically <laughs> but um, this is a journal this is where I learn of course I want the finished product to be as nice as possible or as satisfying as possible but um, it's nonetheless a a working journal which means that it's somewhere where I practice this was a big lesson for me um, a I've realized that acrylics is not really my thing anymore but I still like it I like to use it once in a while B I have a lot to learn about facial expressions but I think I'm on the right track and I'm proud of what I've done you know and and no it's not perfect it will never be perfect but I'm happy with it at this stage and I like contrast I that's nothing new so the white there was needed I like the white and black with other colors I think um, it just brings everything to life am I happy with the flower you know I mean it was supposed to be a field of flower or something like that Anyways, um, that's it for today. I hope that um, this is still going to be enjoyable for you to watch. Um, I've had a few requests to do a tutorial on how to make faces. I really can't do that at this point because I still don't know where I'm going. I mean, I know how to divide a face, but for me to teach it or to show you the proper way of doing it, I really can't do that. Um, not at this stage, like I've said, because I I feel that I have a lot to learn about it. So um, 
who knows maybe in the future anyways so uh, thanks for watching as usual thank you so much my awesome patrons for being a part of my artistic journey and contributing and making it possible for me to post free content here on YouTube I appreciate each and every one of you and if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up it does help and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that you click that little bell to get notifications of new content every time I post if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and I will see you later bye